little bit more taking a look outside for Motor City and Colorado Springs. Snow is falling. However, you'll notice not sticking to the roads or the cars for that matter just yet. This is from Phil Long again in Motor City in Colorado Springs. As temperatures continue to drop overnight, there is the potential for some minor accumulations by tomorrow morning. One to three inches around Teller County and up near Monument Hill. A trace to two inches, that's all I expect to see around Colorado Springs and northeastern El Paso County. Farther toward the south, I don't expect anything in the way of accumulation around Pueblo or even out across the plains as we're going to see more rain than anything else. Travel farther toward the south from Walsenburg to Trinidad could get about one to three inches of snow with four to eight for the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. Here's how everything is going to play out. Showers are continuing to expand off toward the north and east, and I expect that trend to continue through the night and into early tomorrow morning. We'll pause the clock at 7 o'clock when many of you will be hitting the road into work, school, or wherever your Tuesday morning is taking you. At this point, most of these showers are going to be focused out across the plains with the heaviest snow and heaviest rain really along the Colorado Kansas state line. However, I still expect to see some lingering showers around the Pikes Peak region. So, again, if you're traveling up toward Denver over Monument Hill or into Teller County, give yourself a little extra time as there could be some slick and slushy areas. We'll get a brief break from the showers by mid to late morning, but then by lunchtime, showers will begin popping back up once again, and I expect that trend to continue through the afternoon. Could see some minor accumulations again through tomorrow afternoon, but sort of like what we saw out there today, even though it may be actively snowing, I really don't expect the snow to stick to the road. So you may have a sloppy evening drive, but I don't think we'll be battling snow covered roads. And the showers don't last for long. They're all out of here by late tomorrow evening. Low temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 20s and 30s. High temperatures tomorrow getting into the 40s and 50s. So a little warmer than it was out there today. But we should be tracking temperatures in the 60s this time of year. So still cooler than it should be. Temperatures will warm up on Wednesday, 55 degrees. Wednesday, the storm system that brought us so much snow over the weekend that's still spinning overhead right now. It's going to finally move out of here, allowing drier weather to return Thursday into Friday. Temperatures getting back into the 60s and 70s where we'll stay through the weekend, but this weekend getting unsettled once again with another chance for showers Saturday, Sunday, and then again into Monday. In Pueblo tomorrow, 56. 63 will be your high temperature on Wednesday. We'll pop it into the upper 70s, though, Friday into Saturday. We'll keep Pueblo dry Thursday all the way through Sunday, but then Monday, 73 will be your high temperature with a 10% chance for rain. In Canyon City, we'll hit 50 degrees tomorrow, 62 on Wednesday. Temperatures in the 60s, then 70s Thursday into Friday, and we'll dry the conditions out around Fremont County, keeping it dry through Saturday before showers are expected to return Sunday, Monday. Teller County, 40s will take us through Wednesday. Wednesday, our storm system then moves out of here. We'll get a bit of high pressure to allow for warmer and drier weather Thursday, Friday before the showers are back this weekend and into early next week. James, I know this is something that we talked a lot about last week, but still some uncertainty with that system heading our way this upcoming weekend. Looks like that storm, though, not going to hold a candle to the system that moved through this past weekend. So, yes, we may see some more rain and snow, but I don't think it's going to be as high impact as our last storm. Yeah, we get a lot of people uh, maybe new to the area wondering what's going on. We warned everybody back in March with those 70 degrees, 60 degree days that just yeah, wait. It's exactly, coming. exactly. Everybody's like, oh my goodness, it's snowing in April. This is crazy. It's not that yeah, crazy. It usually happens. It yeah. does. Hey.